hello friends uh, so in this video I'll show you how to set up a high performance uh, ethical hacking lab and also DevOps lab you can set up so uh, I have two machine one machine is like uh, both are like same configuration 16 GB and one terabyte and also most latest processors are there so uh, I will install Ubuntu and I don't have CD uh, CD right now and I cannot order I want to do it overnight so uh, I will go with my pen drive I, I will uh, create a bootable image so let's download Ubuntu desktop first so this is the website I will also provide the link in the description So I'll show you I have downloaded it already since it takes time so I am showing you just installed downloaded version so 18.04 maybe when you download 19 will come or whatever the latest version you download that and download the desktop version and in Kali Linux website uh, Kali Linux or that link also I'll put in the description so install this 3 GB one not uh, 900 MB or similar to that so that is for minimal installation not for high performance lab so you should be having also okay this is actually not required it's formatting so formatting you can do for actually I have SD card also but uh, SD card is pen drive having Good space already so use the pen drive USB drive so first uh, first thing is format it and then use bin 32 imager so install that also to write the image okay, actually this step is not required for USB so yeah win32 disk imager launch that and then select your uh, downloaded ISO image of Ubuntu or Kai Linux whichever it, you want to do it first I have done like one by one first I did with Kali Linux and then I did Ubuntu okay so select Kai Linux from here and then start writing so it will take uh, three to four minutes and then eject the pen drive and then you can put into the new machine and then when you boot uh, you will get the option to install so you can choose graphical install from there don't choose uh, use live CD or there will be several other option don't choose that to go for graphical installation you'll get several options so mostly you will be using recommended things and uh, if you are not able to understand that then uh, sometimes Google will also help out and then I'll also provide some links so that you can see the installation steps so generally time zone will come like select your time zone you can select accordingly and select the boot partition so always go for a single partition and then uh, you'll also get option to like uh, erase the previous image so uh, my machine is new so I don't have previous operating system you might be having windows or any other operating system which is already there so please take care of that take the backup or if you are going for dual boot that I don't recommend for if you are going for dual boot then you have to take care of grub so you have to be careful in the installation steps but since my machine was new I was just um, doing all the recommended things so in this way you can do the installation So if you feel uh, any any difficulty you can comment in the below uh, here and I'll, I'll see the comments and I'll try to make the video on that topic. So 
呀。So for high for performance system, you always prefer isolated systems, individual system, and I have all my system in. Same Wi-Fi, same network, so it's always good for me. I can, if you have a static IP and you have NAT forwarding from your router, so you can access from outside also. You can set up ethical hacking lab. You can set up DevOps lab, install Jenkins and other softwares, and you can. It basically depends on your RAM and your hard disk. So I have one terabyte hard disk and 16 GB of RAM, so I can do lot of stuffs. So I always recommend to go for that, not using virtual machine because there was a trend to use virtual machine and then use a, a different install, different operating system over there. But it will go very very slow. So you would put it in your laptop and directly connect it. That will be like much easier for you. You can use other softwares also for like file for file transfer. You can you use Win SCP. So thanks guys thanks for watching Hello friends